Hi everybody, welcome back to the Seesaw. It is Saturday and I've just been grocery shopping. So this is the first Saturday when I'm recording this of the second lockdown period. Um, it was fine, so our Tesco store now, I went to Tesco's, our Tesco's now has the traffic lights the same as our Audi does. So I queued for perhaps three minutes, two or three minutes to get in. And then it was reasonably fine inside. <clears throat> Nothing seemed to be too limited. The shelves were reasonably well stocked. Certainly everything I looked for, I found. Um, yeah, so uh, quite a reasonable shopping experience, really. Um, so I went to Tesco. As you know, if you've been watching the recent weeks, you will know we um, did the Club Card Plus. We got it free for six months when Tony renewed his phone contract. Um, so we've decided to properly try it out and see if we believe it's worth continuing with it when we get to the end of our trial period. Um, so this was my second big shop of the month. Our, our month runs the 18th to the 18th or the 18th to the 17th. Um, so this was my second big shop this month where I get the 10% off. And then obviously being talked about everywhere, um, Tesco has these club card pricing now with just a normal club card gets it. You don't have to have club card plus. Um, and it really seems to bring the price down on quite popular products. But it interestingly today compared to two weeks ago, it was very different things that had club card pricing. So it's not like it's static pricing for items with the club card. They're changing it all the time. So it's like special offers really. Um, but it is quite nice because as you go around, I do scan and shop in Tesco. Part of the reason I go there um, and the scanners pick up the full price so you don't see the club card price until you go to check out um, and it's quite nice to see that money dropping off of your bill and then I had a £5 coupon and I also got my 10% off for my second shop of the month so I spent £79 but I'll show you the receipt in a moment to show you how that um, how I got to the 79 again quite big savings and certainly everything I bought today would have probably been around £70 at Aldi and I would have had to get a few bits and bobs from um, Sainsbury's for the things that I wouldn't have been able to get in Aldi. So again, I'm I'm at the moment spending on the Aldi and Sainsbury's shop between £80 and £90 typically, um, unless it's a very big shop or a very small shop. Um, so this is working really well for that and um, and while that continues, I will definitely continue to do two shops a month from, from Tesco. So I'll turn you around, I'll show you what I got, and then at the end, as always, we'll show you our meal plan for the week ahead. So, there is the sweep. Not quite all the way around the corner. I didn't need as much fruits and vegetables this week, as we've still got a few bits left. Um, but still a good shop. So again, let me show you this. So you can see the, the stuff that I'd um, rung up on my scanner was £104.71 p. And then I saved £25.21, so 11 37 was the savings from the club card pricing offers. And then £13.84 was the savings between my 10% off and my £5 coupon that I had. <clears throat> They'd sent me in the mail three coupons to use over three weeks, so I've used two of them and it was £5 off a £50 shop. So um, between all of that, it took it down to £79.50. So I am very happy with that. I mean, that is, what, £25? Yeah, £25 difference. That's definitely worth doing. So um, while that continues, I will continue to use um, the Club Card Plus option. Um, Non-food items, I just got some toilet roll. I have had a note from my Amazon subscribe and save to say that my toilet roll that I normally get kind of every three months from them is currently out of stock. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Um, so I picked up another pack just in case. Um, and then two kitchen towels. I also bought some of this E45 cream. Um, I have a scar from when I had Caleb, actually. I had a cesarean to have Caleb. And I've never had any problems with it. It's a very minor scar. In fact, you know, doctors have said it's a very good scar. It's, it's, it was done well. Just recently, it's really started to itch. Now, Caleb is 11 years old, so I don't understand why. And after I had a shower this morning, I noticed it was really red and sore. Um, just one part of it, not the whole scar. Um, just very very odd so i've bought some e45 cream which I, in the past i've used when i've had itchy skin and and irritated skin just to see if that calms it down otherwise i may have to go and get somebody to look at it because um i always think you just ignore things on your skin but they can actually be more serious than than we think and so i may i may follow up if this doesn't heal it up it's been itchy for a couple of weeks now and now it's gone really red so bit too much information I know but <laughs> I like to share 
Um, I've got a small loaf of bread just because we haven't been eating as much bread. So Tony is really the bread eater in the family. I don't eat very much bread at all. And Caleb will occasionally have some toast or a sandwich or something. Um, but Tony often eats bread with his dinner. But the last two weeks we've thrown bread out because we haven't got through it. And I, during the original lockdown, when bread was quite hard to come by at times, I was keeping a loaf in the freezer. But I hadn't done that because we'd been getting through it. So I think I'll have to go back to putting some in the freezer again. I then got some butter brioche rolls just for an option for Caleb for his lunchbox or a breakfast. Same with some mini tortilla wraps. I find both of these last quite well. Some hot dog buns. Some more of my Vimto. I've just started the last bottle I had in the cupboard, so I've stocked it up. Again, it's a 99p, seems to be the standard pricing on that in Tesco, which is cheaper than their regular squash. I know it's not quite as much, but for, just, I'm the only one that drinks this, so it lasts quite a long time. I then got um, an orange lemon and pineapple squash just for the family. Um, What's its giants? A big bag of those. They were on special offer. Tony's slightly addicted to them, I think. He just asked me to pick some up for him, so those are for him. And then these are for Caleb for this week, the wheat crunchies. They're the bacon flavour. He likes those. This huge box of shreddies, 750 grams of the chocolate shreddies, was only £1 something. It was a club card pricing. So I grabbed those. Caleb does like shreddies um, and the chocolate ones are a bit of a treat. Um, some little cartons of orange juice and some little hydro waters just for lunch boxes. Um, I did go almond croissants this week. Haven't had them for a few weeks now. But um, just fancy one. I was a little bit hungry while I was shopping. And that's a little bit evident in what I've bought today. I wasn't really hungry because I'd had something to eat before I went. But I was peckish and that always shows. Um, some of the chocolate filled crepes. Again, Caleb quite likes these with um, as a snack. Sometimes with his breakfast, with a smoothie. Um, just different things. So those are for him. The toffee nut latte, the Nescaf Gold. I quite like these ones. Um, I keep these at work so I can have a creamy coffee. Um, in the afternoon, it, it, rather than reaching for a biscuit or something, I'll have one of these instead. Um, these caught my eye, Deluxe Millionaire Whirls. So I love Viennese Whirls. They're my favourite, like little Mr Kipling things. Um, and these have got salted caramel sauce and filling, cream filling, and then the top part's been dipped in chocolate. I know, <sighs> terrible for the diet. Um, I've just given up on diet at the moment. I've completely lost my mojo. And I will find it again and then it will quickly, I'll quickly kick it back into gear. But I think if you battle when you're not feeling it, you just get resentful of everything. So I'm just trying to make sure I don't pile on weight. I've gained a few pounds, but nowhere near the amount that I'd lost. Um, but I'm just keeping an eye on it. But at some point it will just click back in again and then I'll be fine. So I'm just having this little, little wobble at the moment. I think it's just all the stress of everything. We've got COVID cases um, seven cases at one of our sites at work and we've just had a confirmed case at the site where I'm based it's in the factory so not anybody that I have any contact with but um, obviously it starts to become quite real once people you know work in a workplace and because I'm because of my role I'm kind of coordinating our response to it so it, it, again it is quite stressful at the moment some Nutella Bee Reddies Caleb quite likes those as a snack hasn't had them for a while they were reduced they had well they had a club card pricing on I think in um, Tesco's a couple of mug shots just to keep in the cupboard at work um, some yellow mustard some penguin minis these I usually get some kind of mini biscuits to put in with a lunchbox um, some dip dab softies and some drumstick squashies, the bubblegum ones. I bought these a few weeks ago. Um, oh, they are so good. Now, you don't get many in there. Um, there's perhaps eight or ten. Um, but they really do taste like Baileys. So if you've been thinking of trying these and you like these, what are they called? Liebens. Lieb well, this is a different brand. The Balsen. But they are like the the little Liebens cookies or Lieb I forget what they're called, Liebnitz, something like that, but they're little cookies with chocolate on and these have a little layer of a Bailey's kind of flavoured cream in the middle. Very, very good. Um, brunch bars, again, a, a, a treat or a snack for Caleb for playground lunch time, break time. Um, he sometimes takes the granola bars and sometimes takes these. Um, a bag of penne pasta, two boxes of Ritz crackers. Tony likes these for snacking and I want some for a meal this week. So I've gra grabbed two boxes. 
um, a bag of crumble mix. I don't very often use the mixes for things like this, but I've got some cooking apples that I want to use up. Um, and so I just grabbed this for ease and I'll make a little apple crumble to have with, um, with dinner one day this week. Um, a large Dolmio pasta sauce, a can of baked beans and a small can of spaghetti hoops, some cider vinegar, that's all the pantry stuff, onto the fridge a little pot of double cream, some ham, a quiche, so Caleb had quiche at school a couple of weeks back and said he quite enjoyed it so I've got one, I might warm that up for like lunchtime tomorrow and we can have some and then have some in pat lunch later in the week. Um, a small semi-skimmed milk, two boxes of smoothies, so these were the ones that had a club card pricing this week, it seems to vary from week to week. These are the super smoothies, so we've got strawberry burst and mango fandango. Not quite sure how different they are from the regular ones, they don't seem to say they've got anything different in them actually, except lots of vitamins. So that's good for Caleb though, and he does like a smoothie in the mornings. Um, the Cornettos have gone back up to full pricing this week. Um, so they had been a reduced price in Tesco's for weeks, I mean months almost. Um, but these were club card special pricing this week, so I've grabbed him those. He's still got some of the lollies. We, we popped into Iceland last week, Caleb and I, and he picked out a couple of different sorts of lollies, and he's still got some of those in the fridge too, in the freezer too. Um, a bottle of orange juice, some mini pepperamis, some mozzarella and cheese mix. I hadn't realised it was a blend. I thought it was just mozzarella, but it doesn't matter for what I need it for. That's fine. I've got two small packages of hot dogs, the chicken ones, which Tony prefers, and the classics. Some frozen chips, some vanilla ice cream. I made a cobbler last night, a plum and apple cobbler, um, which was really tasty. But Tony said it needed some vanilla ice cream because he doesn't like cream or custard or anything like that. So that's for him so he can have some cobbler. Two bags of our usual frozen vegetable mix, um, some unsmoked streaky bacon, three packages of turkey mince this week, some chicken breast fillets, some pork loin steaks, these are the thin cut ones, and two packages of the basher fillets. Um, this just looked nicer and was a better price than the cod um, and is more sustainable. The basher is a more sustainable fish. Um, a bag of potatoes, some romaine hearts, some regular carrots, um, a soup mix. So it's that time of the year again, isn't it? I've, I did make soup through the summer, as you know, if, you, if you've been watching for a while. Um, but uh, I do like these quick and simple. Sainsbury's does a really nice one with butternut squash and sweet potato and red onion and chilli. Um, and this one is quite a nice one as well, just to... Um, just to throw into my soup maker with a vegetable stock pot, a little bit of water, and I get a soup then that lasts me two or three days for lunches. Um, little gem lettuce, dill and basil, those are all for Licky. Some mixed peppers, a cucumber, some regular onions. They're really small onions at the moment. They're either giant, so a couple of weeks ago I bought one of the nets and the onions were the biggest onions I've ever seen. Um, and the ones in these packs are really, really quite small, so sometimes I have to use two of them but I guess it's just the time of year. Um, selection of grapes, so this has the red and the green grape mixture in there, some salad tomatoes and some mini carrots. So looking at our meal plan tonight, we're going to have creamy honey mustard pork chops. I'm going to have that with chips and veg rather than mash or regular potatoes. Um, so that's just the pork chop, um, the pork loin steaks there, and I'll bake them in the oven with a sauce made with some honey, some mustard and a little bit of the double cream. Um, it's really, really tasty. Um, honey mustard is quite a popular flavour combination in the States. You don't see it as much here, so but it is something we quite enjoy. Um, tomorrow I'm going to make Salisbury steak. haven't made this for ages. So Salisbury steak is a bit like hamburgers, um, but you serve it with a gravy. and It's like hamburgers in gravy, really. Um, but you, I'm going to use the mince and mix it up with some onions, some seasonings, some panko breadcrumbs and make um, four little like patties, cook those and then make an onion mushroom gravy to have with it and we'll have that with mash and veg. Monday we're going to have the hot dogs and have chilli cheese dogs so I'll make a pot of chilli um, to have on the top of the hot dogs and we'll have that with some chips and barbecue beans. Tuesday buttery baked, it was going to be cod but I'm going to use the basher for that, doesn't matter any white fish is fine. Um, and that has the Ritz crackers, it has a, a mixture made with some of the Ritz crackers on the top of it and it gets baked. And then we have rice and salad with that. 
Wednesday, maple glazed chicken with carrots and mash. So that's um, chicken breast just cooked in a, in a simple sauce made with some maple syrup. Um, when, Thursday, what day are we on? Thursday, we'll have a pasta bake with salad. That's with the other package of mince. And then Friday, we'll have pizza. We, I haven't booked in, a, apart from when we went out for our anniversary a couple of weeks ago, I haven't booked in like a takeaway or anything for a while. And yet we've been tempted and, and ended up getting one. So I've just put pizza in. It might not be pizza. It might be, end up being something else. But that'll be kind of a takeaway night next Friday. So that is our plan for the week ahead. Thank you for joining us. And we look forward to seeing you back here on the seesaw soon.